What is the average duration of the amber or yellow traffic lights in Australia is one of the commonly asked questions and lack of familiarity on this topic causes a lot of driving test candidates to fail their driving assessments. The duration of amber traffic light can vary depending on numerous factors including the speed limit, the size of the intersection and local traffic regulations. In Australia the national guideline for the duration of the amber phase is typically between 3 and 5 seconds seconds. This footage was shot on one of the major roads in Australia. The amber light has just gone on and you can see that it takes just under five seconds to change the red light. A significant number of learner driver test candidates fail their driving tests in Australia because they don't treat amber lights correctly. If you're traveling 60 kilometers per hour, you'll pass approximately 16.6 meters per second. Traffic lights without a green arrow in Australia typically operate on a standard traffic light system. The amber light indicates that the green phase is about to end. In a situation like this you have to give way to the traffic from the opposite direction but you have about the same amount of time before the amber light turns red. Don't forget that you may need to give way to pedestrians in these situations as well. When you're driving in your driving assessment you've got to make sure that you don't lose points or fail automatically. This screenshot is from the actual driving assessment. If you can't stop safely before the amber light transitions to red you should stay off breath breaks. It's important to understand that traffic light configurations may vary across different regions or specific intersections. Always observe any traffic signals and any additional signage present at the intersection for the correct course of action. To optimize your chances of passing your driving assessment in Australia, check out some specific videos on this channel that explain a lot of things that you have to know and have to be able to execute on the day of a driving assessment. As always, feel free to ask any questions in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.